What do you mean? Exactly what I am saying. The Lewis family, one of the oldest families in the whole town, was once highly respected. But when Sir William was born, the last heir, it seemed God turned away from him. And if not God, the townspeople certainly did. Nobody could bear to look at his lifeless face. Even yesterday, at the funeral, the coffin was kept closed during the whole ceremony. The night's events are the punishment for our weakness. That's simply the way it is. Wait a minute. I need to make this clear. The damaged tomb belongs to the deceased's family. The one whose funeral was held just yesterday. Precisely. We placed Sir William Lewis's lifeless body in his tomb in the dead of night. And this morning, that same tomb was desecrated. Father Mulcahy, can you be discreet? I am a priest. I was inside the tomb, despite your request not to. Why are you telling this to me? You will confess to God, not to me. The coffin is empty. What? It's... it's not possible. Please, stay calm. Dear Lord, but that would surely mean... Are you sure you opened the coffin? It was open when I stepped in. But what shall we do now? For now, keep it to yourself. You can count on that. Do you realize what a scandal this is? Leave it to us. We will solve it. It's becoming pretty complicated. I have to find out as much about the deceased as I can. I have to ask you, where were you last night? We buried Sir William last night. It was the family's wish that he was buried in secret, so the funeral was after sunset. It is strange you do not know that. The police supervised the whole ceremony. After the funeral, I went to bed and fell into a deep sleep. So you didn't hear or see anything suspicious? No. Otherwise, I would have investigated. I think, I think that, that sounds, sounds credible. It doesn't seem like someone would loot this place.
What's this? I almost overlooked it. An interesting catch. I'll make some notes. A hand-rolled cigarette. I don't really know much about it, but I don't think this is usual cigarette paper. I wonder what an experienced smoker would think of it. No scratches, a perfect cut, and a very specific refraction of light. It takes my breath away. This must be a real diamond. Sergeant, you told me you smoke sometimes. Yes, I'm partial to the odd smoke, sir. How much would this kind of cigarette cost? Oh, let me see. Well, hand rolled, that's nothing unusual. It depends on the tobacco, you know. Well, this one, for instance, smells very good. Why are you interested in it, sir? I found it near the column. It might have belonged to someone who knows what happened here. Really? How would you know that, sir? Because I doubt it would go unnoticed all day. And what would a typical resident of this district do if they were passing by chance and saw it lying there on the footpath? He would pick it up, sir. I see. So someone must have thrown it away tonight. Exactly. And it is more than probable that the person who threw it... In that case, sir... Go ahead. No one rolls a si uh, Maybe in a pub. It takes time to prepare the whole thing, sir. It's... Not only t the mysterious, mysterious... But if I... Re I notice you are no stranger to the smoker's habits. Well, I've picked up a bit over the years, sir. But are you also familiar with cigarette papers? The cigarette won't let you rest, will it, sir? I examined it under the magnifier, and it seems to me that the paper it is wrapped in is somewhat strange. But I might be wrong. That is why I'm asking you. Can I see it, sir? Certainly. Hmm, but some news... Sorry, I... But obvious... Indeed. Thank you. As you think. How long have you been working as a... Only two years, sir. But the... T yes. Well, you're probably used to more peaceful play... That's true. I really? Why did you leave? I'm sorry, but I'd rather keep some details for myself. Once it'll be necessary to search the sewers.
Detective Sergeant Briscoe, put me through to Chief Inspector Powell, please. I see. And when will he return? It's urgent. All right. I'll call back later. Please tell him I called and that I'll be in the field now if he needs to talk to me. He'll know. Goodbye. He's not here, and he should be back in two hours. I'm not going to waste my time. I'll search... Th I suppose the best thing I can do now is... For I'm just asking, nothing more. And I'm repeating that it is pointless. There is nothing to see in there. Well, if there is nothing to see, why don't you allow me to go in? I have to insist that you leave. Oh, I perfectly understand. Who's your superior? You can ask at the station. Thank you very much for your helpfulness. Any troubles, Carter? Not at all, sir. Just uh, this annoying journalist. He wants you to go in. Mind he stays on this side of the wall. Should I arrest him straight away, sir? Do you have any reason to do that? I think he's suspicious, sir. How come he... Leave it up to me. Excuse me. And you... I see there is... Of course... Unfortunately, I have no... So the journalist has gone for a ride. The chain wheel was first described in 1490. Strangely, it took 400 years for the idea to catch... Unfortunately, I could not overlook the machine. Do you like it? It has three gears. The latest... I was talking about the camera you have in that bag. Oh, that thing. I'm fairly common type. The picture's caught on a glass plate. It can be easily broken, which is why I had to buy a better bike, to lessen the risk. And I suppose you have it on you by complete coincidence. Not at all. I came to take some pictures of a two. You don't even have enough imagination to think up a lie. I don't want to insult your intelligence. I still hope we'll come to an agreement. I can make a famous... Forget it. He's laughing in my... What are you doing here? There's nothing strange about it. I'm working on an article about the funeral of Sir William which took place... You know... The nobleman will come here today, so I got up early. I suppose the family of the deceased is agreeable to that, and that you have their consent? Inspector, I hope we two are not going to trespass upon each other's patch. Let me make it clear. I am no inspector, but I'm going to keep a close watch on you. You can count on that. And I am prepared to pressure you if it's necessary. I accept the challenge. It will be my pleasure. Not my big-headed fool. Just wait. Did you know Sir William? No, we never... Tell me, how can you write about someone you... Inspector...